Welcome to Custom Animation's presentation on dangerous goods. Hazardous chemicals pose significant risks to health and safety if mishandled or improperly managed. These substances can be toxic and carcinogenic and cause severe organ and soft tissue damage. Naturally, minimizing exposure to such chemicals is crucial. Exposure to hazardous chemicals can occur through inhalation of dust or fumes from spills, accidental injection, ingestion due to inadequate hand hygiene, or absorption through the skin or eyes. Such exposure can lead to immediate or long-term health issues, underscoring the importance of safe handling practices. Beyond toxic substances, dangerous goods like corrosives, flammables, explosives, reactive, and pressurized materials can cause immediate severe injury and property damage. Manufacturers provide safety data sheets or the SDS, which contain vital information such as hazards, safe handling procedures, storage requirements, emergency response measures, and disposal guidelines. Be sure to see our video on the SDS. It is essential for all users to familiarize themselves with the SDS to mitigate risks effectively. Safe storage of hazardous chemicals is critical even when not in use. Combining incompatible substances can lead to fires, explosions, corrosive leaks, toxic poisoning, asphyxiation, or other serious incidents. SDS Section 10 provides guidance on segregation, supplemented by segregation charts for detailed storage incompatibilities. Store chemicals in original, properly labeled containers with secure lids. Liquids should not be stored above solids, and decanting should only be done into suitable containers, never into drink containers. All containers must be labeled according to SDS guidelines, including GHS symbols. Be sure to see our video on GHS. Refer to SDS Section 7 for safe handling requirements. Implement the hierarchy of controls to mitigate hazards before determining appropriate personal protective equipment, PPE, as outlined in Section 8. Be sure to see our video on the hierarchy of controls. Minimize fume exposure by decanting and mixing chemicals in well-ventilated areas. If using and storing large volumes of hazardous substances, the appropriate spill kits containing neutralizing agents must be readily available and specific to the type of substance involved. In the event of a substantial spill, evaluate the area, ventilate as necessary, and follow SDS sections 6 and 8 for cleanup procedures. Used spill materials should be sealed, labeled, and disposed of properly through an approved waste disposal service. Always consult the SDS as the primary source of information on hazardous chemicals. If unavailable, seek guidance from the manufacturer or supplier's website. For additional queries or concerns, consult your supervisor. By adhering to these guidelines, workplaces can significantly reduce the risks of handling hazardous chemicals. Prioritizing safety through proper education, adherence to SDS guidelines, and strict compliance with storage and handling protocols ensures a safer working environment for all.